Yo, what's good? It's Sydney Johnson, snowboard expert at Curated. Here at Curated, we help thousands of people find the right gear for them every season. This year, we went to Powder Mountain in Utah to test some of the best boards from the best brands. After testing all those boards, we put together our top five top park boards of 2023. Just so you know, we are not sponsored by any brand, so this review is completely unbiased. At number five, we have the LibTech Box Knife. LibTech claims that this is gonna be a great true twin freestyle board. And my first impression is they definitely hit that on the money. It has a nice centered camber with a little bit of like early rise in the tip and tail. So you can get around playing on the nose and tail a little bit with good pop stability and control in the middle. This is a freestyle all mountain board. It felt like, especially with the magna traction, it cut through chunk and trees pretty good. And I would say it's better for a bigger rider because it is a little heavy. You can see even in the side cut of the board, it's a little like extra thick, but because of that super solid base, you're really able to go fast, carve hard, and this board with the twin profile it has is gonna give you a lot in the park and in any freestyle element that you wanna throw into your riding. If you're a beginner rider, you might struggle on this board because it's not the most playful board. If you like a super, super soft, buttery board in the park, you also might not enjoy this board. Intermediate to advanced riders that put a lot of energy into this board are going to get that energy out. At number four, we have the Jones Tweaker. Brand new for 2023, this is Jones Funhagen Freestyle Offering. It's a true twin with camber and it's fun. Jones just nailed it with taking a true park specific board. But as soon as you unleash the mountain, every feature turns into a blue lined pre-made park feature. It feels like you're riding a much longer board so you have that much more control, but it has this swing weight of a smaller board. So it makes it a much more approachable board. It's a lot more freestyle friendly. And it's really cool to see that a mostly free ride focused company decided to make something with the more freestyle guys in mind. Getting it up on edge is really easy. So that kind of compensates for the fact that it is a true camber snowboard. It is at home make and turn switch regular. It is nimble. It's really lightweight. So no matter where you're on the mountain, whether you're ripping groomers in the morning, you're taking some park laps, you're seeking out some natural features to hit, some side hits, some fresh snow, this board is gonna be fun all over the mountain. At number three, we have the K2 After Black. Brand claims that this is a great all mountain freestyle board, definitely excels in the park. So this board here is a hybrid camber. It has a nice middle camber section with a little bit of rocker at the tip and tail. It really did well with holding an edge while carving. Ate up a little bit of the chatter with that rocker in the nose and tail and gave it some nice little playfulness. Going through the trees, it definitely has a pretty quick edge to edge with that rocker design. It's pretty forgiving and quick to turn. But if you're looking for one board to kind of do it all, not a bad option. This is going to be a great mid flex board. Good for any sort of freestyle riding. I would definitely recommend this board for any intermediate advanced rider looking for a great all mountain freestyle board that also just rips the park. And at number two, we have the GNU Money. GNU claims that this board is for that all mountain park rider. This board slays in the park and really turns the whole resort into the park. It's really poppy and really fun to ride. I felt this board was really lightweight, and especially as a female rider on this male board, I was really impressed by how responsive it was. The edge has the magna traction on there, so it really cut through the icy snow in the morning, and throughout the day, it was awesome. You know, it's it's a little bit softer mid-flex, so you're definitely gonna have that playfulness, so especially if you like to jib around or if you're hitting rails and getting kind of tech with it. You're gonna have, you know, a lot of an advantage, especially with that bit of more rocker versus camber, so you have that a uh, little bit extra wiggle room on sketchier landings to kind of butter it out and make sure that you get the clean ride away. Uh, but overall, you know, you're gonna have a, a very, very softer feeling ride when you want it to. So definitely very jib friendly, very park friendly. I could definitely suggest a higher end beginner to even like a pretty well seasoned intermediate and well into advanced rider, especially if you're looking for that kind of park focused, but do it all resort board. This is gonna be a great option. Even your rad dad could have fun with this. The magna traction is gonna keep you, keep you solid out on the groomers and anywhere where it's pretty mellow ride. And our number one park board of 2023 is the Battalion Disaster. So the company claims that the Battalion Disaster is a soft, flexing, freestyle board. Uh, and it definitely is. This thing's super buttery, really playful. 
Uh, if you're looking for something to jib around the whole mountain, just make the whole thing your playground. Going from side to side, bonking off little trees, hitting little side hits. This is the board for you. Definitely playful, buttery, get your toast on. Battalion's biggest claim to fame is their triple base technology. That triple base gives you three different platforms. You have both sidewalls in the center. So it feels very boated and boaty when you're riding. It would perform okay in powder, but this really is meant for park and creating that park experience and in your ride in the whole mountain. I noticed on my jumps, when I push a little extra hard on takeoff and when I was pressing into the board on the flat ground, it really gave me energy back. If you're someone that's really aggressive charger, I would probably look for another board. Uh, definitely not gonna be the best board for super, super high speeds. Definitely would love this board in the park. Uh, if you're ripping the park daily, definitely pick up this Italian disaster. What do you think? Did your snowboard make the list? If you need help finding the right gear for you, make sure to go to curated.com. You'll be matched with experts like me and receive free personalized advice. If you like this video, click like and leave a comment. And if you wanna see more from Curated, make sure to hit subscribe.